みなさんこんにちはこのビデオでは数字の漢字を勉強しましょう。In this video, we would learn 漢字 of numbers. それでは始めましょう。For every kanji, you would learn the following. How the kanji looks, what are the onyomi and the kunyomi sounds, how the kanji is drawn, that is, the correct stroke order, and finally, some words using that kanji. The first kanji is the easiest of all, and that's the kanji for number one. Look at the way the kanji looks. It's just one line drawn, right? This kanji is something like we are showing one with our finger like this. The way this kanji is drawn is the horizontal line starting from left to right. The readings for the kanji are as follows. The native Japanese reading, namely the kunyomi for it, is hito, hito followed by something something. The onyomi, that is the original Chinese pronunciation for it, are ichi and i. Remember learning ichi ni san? So the ichi ni san, they are the onyomi for the numbers. I go over the readings again. Kunyomi for it is hito, onyomi, ichi. And e. Please note there's a small tsu after e. It's not it's, it is e. Reading the onyomi and kunyomi alone wouldn't suffice, right? You should know which sound to put where. So let's look at a few words now. There could be some words with irregular reading also. So please watch out for them. The first one is a counter for things. It's read as hitotsu. Hitotsu. The next three kanji are the kanji for one used with day, month, and year. Let's look at them. This kanji has an irregular reading. It would be read as suitachi. Suitachi. It means first day of the month. This one would be read as Ichigatsu. Ichigatsu. Ichi means one. Gatsu means month. First month, which means January, is read as Ichigatsu. One year would be read as Ichinen. Nen means year. Ichi means one. Ichinen. The next two kanji are related to time. So if you watched our earlier video on time, you would be able to understand the meaning of these words. The kanji for one followed by the counter for R, G, it would be read as Ichiji. Ichiji means one o'clock. One minute. Let's read one minute now in kanji. Ippun. It's the onyomi sound E. Followed by the minute, pun. It is read as ip pun. The next word, the kanji for one, followed by the kanji for person. This has an irregular reading. It would be read as hitori. Hitori means one person. Finally, let's look at a sentence using the kanji number one. Kanji, gatsu, wa. Nan nichi arimasu ka? How would you read this kanji here? Ichi. The sentence would be, Ichi gatsu wa nan nichi arimasu ka? Which means, how many days are there in the month of January? The next kanji which we are going to see is the kanji for number two. It's a very simple one again. 
it's just two horizontal lines drawn parallel to each other something like you're showing two with your fingers like this the point we noted here is the top line is a bit smaller when compared to the bottom line and this kanji is written as follows the top line first is drawn from left to right followed by the bottom line from left to right let's look at the kanji readings now the kunyomi that is the native japanese pronunciation is futa followed by something something futa the onyomi is ni it's like the ichi ni san the onyomi is ni kanji readings let's go over them again kunyomi is futa onyomi ni looking at some words using this kanji now the first word is the counter for things the kanji 2 followed by the hiragana letter 2 should you read it with the onyomi or the kunyomi the kanji is followed by hiragana characters so you should be reading it with the kunyomi something similar to the word which we saw while discussing kanji for number 1 we read it as hitotsu right this would be read as futatsu means two things futatsu the next three words would use day month and year let's look at them the kanji for two followed by the kanji for day this word has an irregular reading again it's read as futsuka futsuka it means second day of the month the next word kanji for two followed by the kanji for months this would be read as nigatsu nigatsu means second month of the year february the next word the kanji for two followed by nen which means year how would it be read ninen ninen the next two words are related to time the kanji for two followed by the counter for hours namely ji this word would be read as niji niji the next one two minutes kanji for two followed by the kanji for minutes here minutes would be read as pun or fun if you watched our video on telling time you would be able to guess it it is read as fun so the word would be ni fun ni fun the last word this word has an irregular reading it's kanji for two followed by the kanji for person that is two persons this word would be read as futari futari the kanji for three looks like this you could remember it as three fingers pointing like this or a combination of kanji for one and two it's three horizontal lines drawn parallel to each other the last line being the longest of all the readings for the kanji kunyomi is mi mi followed by a small tsu so it would be read as mi onyomi being take a guess what would the onyomi be here ichi ni here it would be san so going over the readings kunyomi is mi onyomi san looking at the words using this kanji the first word is the counter for things the kanji for three followed by tsu would it be read with the onyomi or the kunyomi how did we do it under kanji 1 and kanji 
with the konyomi, right? How would this word be read then? Mits, mits. So when you are calling three things, you would tell it as mits. The next three words use the kanji of day, month and year respectively. Let's look at them. The kanji for three followed by the kanji for day. This would be read as mikka. Mikka. Mi is the reading for the kanji three and the day kanji would be read with ka. So the word is mikka. Third day of the month. The next word would be read as sangatsu. Sangatsu. It means March. The kanji for three followed by year, nen. It would be read as san nen. San nen. The next two words relate to time. The kanji for three followed by the kanji for hours. The hiragana reading for the hours would be ji. So this word would be read as Sanji. Sanji. The next word. Three minutes. Here, minutes would be read as pun or fun. Pun, right? Sampun. Sampun. The last word. The kanji for three followed by the kanji for person. The kanji for three would be read here with its unyomi which is san and the kanji for person would be read as nin hence this word would be san nin this is not an irregular reading as what we had seen under kanji number one and kanji number two this word would be read as san nin kanji for number four now that we have learned kanji for number 1, 2, 3, you could feel that kanji for number 4 could be written something like this. Four lines drawn parallel to each other. Ah, uh, that's not the case. The kanji for number 4 looks like this. It's a rectangle with four sides and two corners indicated like this. A small tip for remembering this could be number 4 kanji is represented as a four-sided rectangle with two corners marked. The way to draw this kanji, watch out. It's first this side, thereafter this. Remember we are not drawing the bottom line first. We will be drawing these two curves and finally we will end the kanji with the bottom line. Going into the kanji readings now. The kunyomi for it is yo. And there is another sound here, yon. So there are two kunyomi for it, yo and yon. The unyomi sound is shi. She. Let's go over the kanji readings again. The kunyomi are yo and yon. The onyomi being she. Looking at words using this kanji. The first word is a counter for things. So this kanji for four followed by the hiragana letter tsu. How would this be read in the onyomi or the kunyomi? Kunyomi, right? So there are two kunyomi here, yo and yon. So are we going to read it as yotsu or yonsu? It would be read as yotsu. So counter for four things, the word is yotsu. The next three words would relate to day, month and year respectively. Let's look at them. The kanji for four followed by the kanji for day. This would be read as in its kunyomi as yoka. Yoka. Fourth day of the month, it would be called as yoka. The kanji four followed by the kanji for month. This word, so far.
far what we have been doing is when it was first month we did it as ichigats then it was nigats sangats now will it be yongats no the word would be shigats so you read it in its onyomi sound shigats that's what we've been doing for number 1 2 3 it was all onyomi sounds the next word number 4 followed by the year kanji nen this would be read as yonen it's not yon nen no it's yonen the next two words related time so the kanji for four followed by the counter for hours it would be read as yoji yoji not yonji yoji four minutes the kanji for four followed by the kanji for minutes this would be read as yongpun or yongpun it's yongpun yongpun last word the kanji for four followed by the kanji for person when we were discussing kanji for number 3 what was the sound for person in it nin nin right this word would be read as yonin not yonin it would be yonin next moving to kanji for number 5 look at the way the kanji is drawn it's like we are taking five lines and arranging it in the form of a h with a line above and line below let's go over it again five lines we are taking and we are arranging it in the form of a h with a line above and line below let's count the number of lines 1 2 3 4 and 5 so there are five lines so number 5 they have arranged the five lines in this particular way let's look at the stroke order for it the first line followed by this then this stroke and then finally the line below the kanji reading for it are as follows the kunyomi is its and the onyomi being go go going over the readings again kunyomi sound its onyomi go words using this kanji the first one counter for things so when you are counting five things you will use this word how would you read this as in its onyomi or kunyomi kunyomi it would be read as its its it's its the next three words using day month and year let's look at them so this word which means fifth day of the month would be read in its kunyomi this word would be read as its ka the reading for the kanji for day is ka and the reading for the kanji for number 5 is its so this word would be read as its ka next word the kanji for 5 followed by the kanji for month it would be read in its onyomi as gogats gogats next kanji for 5 followed by nen year would be read as gonen it means five years gonen the next two words relate to time 5 o'clock we would read this kanji as goji goji next five minutes minutes your fun upon able to remember this word would be read as gofun gofun the last word the kanji for 
followed by the kanji for person. Person, the sound is nin and here the number 5 would be read as go in its onyomi sound. This word would be read as go nin. Go nin. Let's revise the kanjis. We would see how the character looks and the kunyomi and the onyomi of each character. So let's get started. Number one, the kanji looks like this. A single line drawn from left to right. The kunyomi for it is hito, as in hitotsu, hitori. Onyomi for it is ichi and uh, i, as in uh, ichigatsu or uh, ippun. One irregular reading which we had seen was tsuitachi. Tsuitachi. Number two, the kanji looks like this. Two lines drawn parallel to each other, the bottom line being longer. The kunyomi for it is futa, as in futatsu. And the onyomi for it is ni, as in nigatsu, nifun, niji. There was one irregular word which we had seen here and that was futska. Number three, the kanji looks like this. The bottom line being the longest. The kunyomi for it is, is mi, as in mitsu, mikka. The onyomi for it is um, san, as in sangatsu, sanji. Number four, kanji is this. It's a rectangle with two corners marked. The kunyomi is yo, yon, as in um, yotsu, yokka. Onyomi is shi. As in Shigatsu. Number 5. Kanji is. 5 lines arranged in the form of a H with a line above and line below. Kunyomi for it is. Itsu. As in Itsuka. Itsitsu. Onyomi is Go. As in Gogatsu. Goji. Goji. 